Okay, so forgive me for the mess on the table. This is the HC12 module. This is a trans transceiver UART that is working on uh, 433 megahertz with a variety of options like changing the channels. You have a uh, 100 channels that you can change. So the transmitting frequency is changing according uh, what you're choosing. You have an 80 command that you can write to this module. This is pretty simple. Uh, there is a pin name set here. And if you connect it to ground and you need to connect it to ground, then you can go to the 80 command and set the parameter and the parameter will be saved in it. Also, you have an option to change the power of transmitter. The power is changing from a, a few milliwatt and even less than milliwatt up to 100 milliwatt. It was claimed that it is working about a one kilometer, which in my test uh, was not the case. It actually worked about 200 meters. But this can be, of course, if you will change the antenna. This is the antenna that came with it, that I have uh, soldered. But you can, of course, use a antenna, a bigger antenna, with a better uh, performance and you will get a better distance. It is a good uh, thing to connect capacitor between the VCC and the ground and this is in order to get a better performance of transceiver and receiver. Uh, you, you don't have to use a 1000 microfarad as I'm using here. You can put an SM, SMT about, uh, I guess, 100 microfarad will do the work uh, pretty good. And uh, this is because uh, it has a high current pump from the source when transmitting. It can get up to a 100 or 200 milliamp, which I didn't test. In this setup, what I did is connected an Arduino. The Arduino is doing the transmitter and transmitting every one second. I will share my code later. And I connected a receiver and the other side uh, you need to press a button, the S, in order to start the transmitting to do the count. This is how I check the distance. So again, I could get uh, about 200 meters. Uh, what is nice is that you can change the channels. Uh, in order to do the change, again, you need to enter into the AT command. I will put some data and uh, later... Uh, Maybe I will write some uh, more code in order to use it and uh, to control uh, to use the controller and to put uh, let's say uh, like switches that turn LEDs in the other side or something like this. And this is uh, for now. Uh, thank you. So when I'm pressing the S, the transmitter will start to transmit every one second to this computer. So let's write the S. And as you can see, it is now starting. And I will go with the laptop to see the distance. Okay, we're pretty close. It is working okay. I'm walking with the laptop. <laughs> 